Hi everyone, it's Helen here. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today we've got a brand new tutorial. We are putting together the Dinky Weekender Purse die set. Now everyone has loved, loved, loved the Weekender Purse. So we now have it in the Dinky version. So if you have any of my other versions and want a size comparison, this is the Dinky one. This is the mini one. And this is the full sized Weekender. So as you can see, this is absolutely tiny so if you wanted a size comparison there you go so let's jump straight into the tutorial now so this new version is obviously smaller and it comes with these beautiful rose and floral trellis dies i absolutely love those and i've cut those from some pinks uh, mirror cardstock i've gone for pink background paper so let's quickly look at the cutting guide and then i'll show you how to assemble it all so let's just clear the deck slightly you're going to need two sets of each trellis and then two of the bag fronts two of the side gussets one buckle two straps another long strap there and then how you decorate it is optional you can literally just stop there but we have the trellis dies and we also have these mats as well so here is the die set in full now I've designed this one so it runs straight through a standard die cutting machine obviously not all in one go but all of these pieces are smaller so if you don't have a larger machine then it's going to fit through your smaller one but if you do have an A4 one it'll be a lot quicker quicker for you to run it all through at the same time. So let's get uh, folding. We're going to be starting with these score lines here. Now grab a bone folder and then fold those down and then do that for all of the score lines. Okay so I've got everything folded now and I'm just going to add some colour to the mats because I'm using a tone on tone so it's all the same shade just to kind of help things out a little bit I'm going to add some um, inking to the edges I've got some picked raspberry here uh, memento rosebud is also a really good colour so I'm just going to go in with the mats and just give them a slight hint of pink around the edges and I'll probably do the same on the edges and around the score lines for those parts as well on the main bag. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up all of these trellis dies here. Now definitely these are quite intricate, so I know Craft Stash do have on their channel some intricate die cutting tips and I will leave that video linked down below and don't forget this is a really really handy tool in getting out all of your little bits out from there okay so I have run this through my Sizzix Big Shot to get these run through I always like to say which machine that I've used I know every machine is going to be slightly different so just work if you're having trouble with anything work your way through all of the tips so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add all of these onto here with some glue and then I'll be right back to show you the next step okay so I've got all of my mats put on I only used the extra mats for the side pieces I was kind of happy with how it looked without the mats for this but if you wanted to add mats you, uh, for the front pieces you do get the die for that as well just wanted to mention that so let's get assembling so this is going to be suitable for either using wet glue or red tape for this project so either of those things will be okay for this one I'm going to stick with this wet glue here which I've been trying out for a couple of months now and I'm super happy with it this is the book binding glue from creative craft products and all we're going to do is just add the glue to those side tabs and we're going to alternate the pieces so we have a front piece a side piece a front piece and then another side piece and it's a lot easier to get your trellis and your mats down before you assemble the bag and then just before we pop this together 
I'm going to add a bit of red tape just to one of these strips there. That's really going to help us finish off the bag and keep it together instead of um, waiting for that last little bit of glue to dry. But you only need this on one of them. And then my tip for the red tape is to grab your bone folder and press down. I've got a bit of a glue thread there. Never mind. Um, press that down that's going to push all the air bubbles out and push the adhesive right into the cardstock and then I'm just going to grab my glue again add it to our last tab and then glue everything closed Fold those bottom tabs in. I'm just going to add a bit of glue just to those tabs there to keep them in place. Fold down the flap without the uh, tape on. And take off the backing for the tape and you can also add a bit of glue as well on top of there. That's absolutely fine. And then we can square those off and glue those down. There we go. And whilst that is being held in place, we can just add a bone folder in there. That is our bag almost done. We just need to add our finishing touches now. So grab yourself another bone folder and we're going to curl these just like that, just to curve them. There we go. Same for this one too. There we are. Now we can add our glue. I definitely would use glue here. It might take a bit longer to dry, especially on the um, the foil here. However, um, it just means that they're going to stay there if you use the glue. There is a risk, there's always a risk that if you're using dry adhesive, like um, the tape, even the red tape, it can come undone may not be in a week's time or a month's time but eventually a lot of dry adhesive will come undone now a lot of my samples go back to 2018 with the simply made crafts and a few of my older projects have started to fall apart where i've used the red tape so this is why i always say add a little bit of extra glue on top of your red tape so the red tape will hold it there and then the glue will make sure that it stays stays there for the test of time really now a lot of my projects that I've put together using the glue have stayed nice and intact so definitely for the long term use the glue but yes definitely use the red tape if you need that little bit of extra help getting things to, be, to stay stuck down whilst you're waiting for the glue to dry so there is our bag handles done let's work on the strap now so i'm just going to add actually i am actually going to use a tiny little bit of tape here because i'm using mirror cardstock that is going to slip and slide whilst i'm waiting for that to dry so i am going to use a little bit of the red tape just there Let's trim that off it's easier just to trim it off before you add it to your project if you're using a small piece and then oh no wrong side get the right side there we go just stick it onto the shiny side just add just a tiny bit of glue there we go I'm going to add that just here. There we go. And if you do get any sticky bits from your red tape, use a bit of um, the embossing anti static powder and you can just dust that on there. And that will get rid of any stickiness from your tape. Okay, and I'm going to do something different this time, something that I don't normally do. 
I normally use these little Velcro tabs but because these are so dainty and fiddly and tiny I'm going to use a little glue dot now eventually the glue will come off this glue dot and you might have to replace it but it will still be sticky for when you're gift giving or in the beginnings of use of this so I'm just going to bring this forward and bring that down oh, the buckle we can't forget the buckle right let's get that buckle on this does have a little um pointy thing there for the buckle so you work out where you want this whichever way you want it to go in i think we'll go in this way it's going to be harder now with the actual glue dot in the way so let's curve this then i'm going to glue it in place okay and here is the finished dinky weekender handbag i absolutely love this one so many different things that you can do with this and if you want to check out my embossing folder uh, tutorial on the craft stash channel where i show you how to use your trellis dies with an embossing mat to create this stunning look here which is very different to what we have there then go and check that out i will leave that linked down below so that is the Weekender, the Dinky Weekender. And don't forget these will work perfectly with the Dinky Bows and Blooms die set. The Dinky Decorative Fittings die set, if you want to add loads of accessories, this has been shrunk down to fit the smaller bags. And also you can experiment and have loads of fun with the new embossing folders. This is the Mock Rock and this one is the Quilted. These are absolutely stunning once you have these popped together, as you can see. So thank you very much for joining me today. Everything that I've used is listed down below in the description box and I'll see you again later.